Welcome to the last section, Other Tips and Tricks. This section provides interesting QGIS Python tricks that didn't fit within the themes of the other sections. Each video has a specific purpose, but in many cases a video may demonstrate multiple concepts that you'll find useful in other programs. Another shows you how to capture the output names of processing scripts in case you need to use that dynamically generated output in other scripts. We cover how to run QGIS scripts as scheduled tasks for truly automated processes that start themselves at set intervals. We create a 2D globe using an azimuth or orthographic projection. And finally, we've added a video which shows you how to create an animated movie from a layer. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating tiles from a QGIS map. In this video, we're going to create internet web map tiles from our QGIS map. Before beginning, we need to download the zip shape file from this URL, and then unzip the file to a directory named shapes in our QGIS underscore data directory. These are the extracted files. We also need to install the QMeta tiles plugin using QGIS plugin manager. To do that, we go to plugins and select manage and install plugins. Here, we will search for QMeta tiles plugin and install it. Hooray, the plugins got installed. Now, in the Python console, we need to import all the necessary Python libraries, including the Meta tiles plugin. This is the code to import them. We've done it. Now, we need to create a color function that can produce random colors. It accepts a mixing color which defaults to white to change the overall tone of the color palette. This is the code for doing it. Next, we'll create a simple callback function for notification when the tile generation is done. Here, we've created it. Now we set the path to the shapefile and the tile output direction. Here, we have set the path to the shapefile and the tile output direction. Then, we load the shapefile. We've loaded it. Next, we define the field used to color the countries. We've defined the field name. Then, we need to get all the features so we can loop through them. Then, we'll build our color renderer. This block of code is used for building the color renderer. We'll then set the layer renderer and add it to the map. As you can see, we've added the layer renderer to the map using this code. Now we'll set all the properties we need for the image tiles, including the map elements and image properties. This is the block of code for setting the properties. We're ready to generate the tiles using the efficient threading system of the QMeta tiles plugin. We'll create a thread object and pass it all of the tile settings from above. We have done it. Once this is done, we can connect the finish signal to our simple callback function. This is the code for connecting the finish signal. Finally, we'll now start the tiling process. When we start the tiling process, we get the message as finished. Once we receive this completion message, we need to check the output directory and verify if there is an HTML file named countries.html and a directory named countries. We'll now open the HTML page. Here you can see the map. Once the map is loaded, zoom. It using the plus symbol present on upper left corner twice. Next, pan around to see the tiled version of your map load. Here we can generate up to 16 zoom levels with this plugin. After eight zoom levels, the tile generation process takes a long time and the tile set becomes quite large on the file system, totaling hundreds of megabytes. You can see a working example of the output video stored in a GitHub page's web directory in this link. This brings us to the end of this video. Here we successfully created tiles from a QGIS map.